he just keeps wandering off. It's really hard to uh, leave them talking because as soon as I walk away, he's busy, you know, chatting to someone else. Playing about everything. There you go. Connor's back and he's got money. Hooray. Loads of money. Oh, we're swimming in money and he wants to do something fun. And he needs to wash. Yeah, go take a shower. Look at him. He looks like a broken man after that day. He needs to relax like this. Ah, cool down in a nice shower. Then, um, watch some TV. Get the mood up. He has to listen to his stupid daughter while he watches it. Listen, look, she's just talking over it. It's really rude. Be quiet, Scratch. I'm watching, um, whatever this is. Some sort of werewolf thing. Okay, I'm watching Teen Wolf. Or Twilight 3 or whatever. It is. Something like that. Okay, his fun is filling up. He can go to bed soon. Go into the gentle slumber of death. No, not of death. He's not got to die yet. He's got a, He's got at least like two weeks left before that. Oh no, Alexander's leaving. Oh. Come back, my beloved. Oh, Ember's gone to bed. She didn't even hang out with him all day. Look, their thing, it isn't... They're not even friends yet. They're still acquaintances. That's really disappointing. Connor the second, what are you doing? Oh, he's... He can wake up now, and... Oh, crap, it's three in the morning. He can't call his girlfriend over now. It's too late, um, or early, depending on uh, what way you look at it. Why don't you go and have yourself some eggs and toast? Is Abby an adult yet? She isn't. She's still a teenager. This relationship gets dodgier by the day. I wonder was she like literally just gone teenager when um, when he got together with her? Because yeah, that would explain it. Because she was like whatever thirteen, he was nineteen and three quarters or something. So now he's like what age is he? 25 which would make her like what 8 uh, 17 or so no oh, no 19 bleh brain fart but um no that's not actually too bad like that's not a crazy gap ground her ground her the sink is broken for god's sake go and fix it kind of a second um can i email her maybe i can email her no. Oh, there's no email option. That's really weird. Oh, I can practice writing, though. What's his work task? He has to write a book. Okay, well, that's just simple homework. Go home and write a book today. Did I tell him to practice or to write? No, forget practice. I need you to write a book. Write a children's book. And we'll make our millions off it. It can be the next Harry Potter, but it can be... Instead of about a boy wizard, it's about a man writer who wears a Darth Vader mask all the time. No, don't practice writing. I told you to write the book. Just forget the practice. What's it called? Never Eat Your Pet Turtle and Other. This is a children's book. Um, I am going to call it... Connor Vader and the... Philosopher's Tortoise. I just stuck with the tortoise thing because that's obviously the theme he's going for. This is a children's book. This is a bloody brilliant children's book. I'm going to put that in quotes. And that is a quote from Mahatma Gandhi. Five stars. There we go. With a review like that, it's bound to sell, you know? Especially since he's been dead. His ghost came back to read the book. It was that good. Now he's talking to himself as he writes. That's the good thing about being insane. He can just raise his social on his own. Um, Bella, when's that baby coming? You've been pregnant forever. Okay, it's coming in question mark. That's good. That means uh, very, very soon. Oh my god, it's Connor's birthday. We have to have a proper party and stuff. Crap. Um, I'll have him bake himself a cake. Why don't you cook up a... I see strawberry cake. I bloody love strawberry cake. I'm going to have a strawberry birthday cake. Everyone out of my way. I don't care what you guys think. I'm going to be an elder now. 
this will be interesting to see what I look like as an old man. It'll be like gazing through a strange window into my future. Um, now let's stick some candles on it. Ah, sorry, clicked on the fridge. Add some candles or a wedding topper. Can I use that to marry someone randomly then? And blow out candles. Oh, sorry, I blew into the microphone there, mimicking myself. I just forgot about how that would sound. You probably just heard like... Pfft. Or some, some similar noise. Oh, he's aged up. Seniority, wrinkled bellies, frosty locks, and interminable naps await. Party like the Reaper is not right around the corner. Okay, really gotta get a move on this career thing. Um, how many days have I got left? I've lived a hundred so far. Oh my god. Why don't you uh, take a piece of cake? Oh, look at me. I look so miserable. That's not good. I should be a happy old man. One of those like jolly guys who wears a sailor's hat and has a big bushy beard and stuff. Are, are they just old sailors or is it just a look old men go for? I don't even know. And There's a sink broken in there. For God's sake, grounder. Get in there and fix it. No time for jibber jabber. Connor's busy. Oh, computer's broken. Well, it's a good thing I have another one upstairs. That's all I can say. Go up there and um, resume writing your book. Don't worry, I'll get one of the uh, technicians to fix this. Ember, you're the technician. Oh, it's daytime. Hang on, hang on. Connor the second, Connor the second. Um, okay, I want him to finish the book first. I'll just let this uh, fill up. Oh, that was just his skill. The book, um, the book will take ages. Okay, we'll take a break from the book for a few minutes because it's time to um, call Abby over. I hope that she's grown up a little bit. I bet she's there already by the time I get to the door. No! What's wrong with you, Abby? Don't you love me? Oh, there she is. Okay. That's a little slow, though, compared to what I've seen from uh, everyone else. Oh, I can break up with her. Why would I do that? Go down and brighten her day. She's, um, she's your future wife. You have to learn to get on with her. Can they still be romantic? No, they can't, because of the age thing. Uh, discuss the latest games. And boast about the biggest catch. Yeah. Th these are the kind of things she'll love to hear. And also a heartfelt compliment, I suppose. Throw that in there as well. She didn't look too happy with that. Oh no, she's, she's getting on okay. The romance thing is slowly draining, but that's because um, they can't actually do anything romantic for the next while. Ask her about her favourite author. If it's not you, then break up with her right now, because everyone knows you're the best author in town. Um, joke about aliens. Share a secret. Oh my god, what secret will he share? He's got lots of them. He's um, a sordid man. Should also... Um, do a knock-knock joke. Oh, it was something shocking. She really liked that. I, I missed what the speech bubble was. It was probably something crazy. Like, um... Oh, I don't know. It was him pouring poison into Michaela's dinners as he was cooking them or something. <laughs> like, she didn't actually die of old age. That's the kind of secret he told. It was, certainly wasn't something about smiles and banana peel, anyway. One of those run-of-the-mill conversations. Uh, inside, give her a hug as well. And, um... What else can we do? Deep conversation. The, um... The options are kind of limited at the moment. He's feeling playful. Why doesn't he be mischievous? Why not, uh... Flasher the crazy eyes? She'll love that. She loves crazy eyes, Abby does. She's just mad for them. She sits ho at home just thinking, God, I'd love to see some crazy eyes. She can't actually see them, though, because he's wearing the helmet, so um, that makes it a little bit pointless. That didn't count as mischief. Oh. Then, um, why don't you trick her with a hand, hand buzzer? Yeah, he thought that was a good idea. He really, really agreed with it. 
What are they now? They're soulmates. Oh my god, this just gets stronger and stronger. Even though, you know, she's a really nice, perfect, lovely girl and he's a lunatic in a Darth Vader mask. Oh wow, my luxury bedroom's been downloaded already. Wow. Well, you guys are fast, I have to say. Um, this video like won't be up for another like three or four days, so um, that that's crazy. Where's he going? To play in. To play in what? What are you playing in? Oh. <laughs> the pile of crap on the kitchen floor. Fantastic. Which one are you? Is that Grounder? Or is it Scratch? I don't know. Scratch. Fix that sink. And I'll get rid of this rubbish. God. Here we go. And um, I think it's shower time. I think we can should have a shower and then get back to your book. Because we need to get that finished. Um, put the cake in the fridge as well. Don't want it going off. It's strawberry cake. It can't go to waste. Oh, oh, Abby. I, I suppose you're allowed wandering. But, um... Is she, though? She's a teenager. That's a little weird. It's just... It's such a weird situation they're in at the moment. I'm not sure what's appropriate and what isn't. Oh, Connor's feeling flirty down here. Oh, look at him now. He looks like a silver fox. Oh, he's a... He's a pretty cool, dynamic guy. Bella's still not in labour. She's just really holding on to that baby. It's going to be such a clingy one. I can just tell already. I hope it's not twins. I've just realised it could be twins or triplets, maybe. I'm not sure if they still have triplets. They probably don't, but uh, if they do, then that would be a real pain. Oh no, is this it? Is this it? Oh no, she just kind of needs to poo, I think. But yeah, she should eat that cake first. You know, you might as well have something to poo out before you go. Bella and Ember don't know each other yet. Really? She's like your stepmother, Ember. You should make more of an effort. Um... Where's Connor the second gone? Oh, he's still in the bath. Of course. Having a great time. But, um, I really want you to finish your book. So, that's enough hygiene for now. Oh, he's gone down to the other computer. Why'd he do that? That's just such an unusual choice. Can't... Oh, wait, wow, he finished it. What an achievement. Connor II finished writing an entire book. The book will be added to his inventory for future reading enjoyment. Connor II can also publish it. Just click on the mailbox. Oh, wow, let's publish it. Why not? Uh, Self-publish. Do I have to pay for that? I don't know. Let's see. Let's see what happens. Hooray! Congratulations, Connor II has self-published a book. He won't make as much money as selling rights to a publisher, but he will receive a, a small amount in royalties daily. Oh, wow, so writing is still really overpowered and a way to get rich really quickly, I guess. So, that's good. We need lots of money. Why don't you go have a fish taco then? Look at him. He looks insane. Oh, my God. What a crazy dude. Um, has he worked today or tomorrow? Or when is it? 19 hours away. Okay, but he's very, very tired. He's probably going to have to sleep for those 19 hours. His meals aren't filling him anymore. He's going to have to eat that cereal as well. That's very unusual. I guess maybe he uh, he's just got a bit of a bottomless stomach now. Because he is a kind of... He's kind of a big guy. He's a little chubby. Um... Professional priorities. Uh-oh, Connor realised he's double booked for a friend's party, which he agreed to do for free, and a high-paying corporate event. Should he give up the paycheck and help his friend, or do the corporate event and bail on his friend? Corporate event? You have no friends. Well, the payday will be nice, but the corporate crowd could not be less interested in Connor's act. Worse, his friend is absolutely livid. Connor backed out of his party at the last second. I still get 400 simoleons, so there we go. It's fine, I'm just a little bit embarrassed. I can live with embarrassment in exchange for money. Um, I, I, I do acting. That's pretty much, you know, what I do. Now, get to bed, you. You crazy cyborg man. And uh, you, Bella, what are, what are you doing? Out mourning your, um, your husband's ex. The vengeful ghost who shows up and breaks everything every while. Yeah, that's, that's sensible. That's a good life choice. I'm starting to think Bella might be a bit insane as well. Um... 
but she's enjoying the cake, so, you know, I can't dislike her that much. It is a lovely cake. I'm glad I could make that. Um, I think it's bedtime, Bella. I mean, you're a grown woman, and you can make your own decisions, but I really think you should go to sleep. And look, these guys are just sitting in here. They don't care. Um, Ember, let's get your boyfriend over. Um, Alexander Goth. Let's uh, invite him to hang out on the lot. Oh, he'll be right over. Wow, she didn't even have to stop eating to call him. And here he comes. I think I see him. Or is he already there? Wow, he's taking his time, isn't he? He's probably here already somewhere, is he? Because normally they're they're instantaneous. Um, oh, that's Rico Phillips. Wow, Alexander just really is not being cool about this. Is he inside? He must be inside somewhere. It's like a game of Where's Wally. I mean, he could be hiding anywhere on the lot. Um, but I don't see him. Invite him over again. Maybe he said no. Oh, he'll be right over. Yeah, let's go out here and, uh, and wait for him. Alexander? Alexander Goth? Nothing. Okay, just chat with him then. Maybe she should invite him somewhere else. Actually, no. Oh, crap. I already clicked it. I'm going to have to take her out somewhere. Um, no, cancel that. Cancel that. I need to spend... I need to stay in on this lot to take care of everyone. Um, why not just chat with him first, then? And now maybe he'll come over. Ah, uh, where is he? Maybe I'm just being impatient. Maybe he'll come along eventually. But, um... Or maybe he's disappeared from the world. That used to happen. You'd... There were some sims and they'd just disappear and, you know, you'd call them and they'd say I'm on the way over and then never show up. I guess it could be that bug. It's still rearing its ugly head. Um, one the second. How are you doing? Oh, he's a bit more rested. I think maybe it's time he snuck out for a little bit of midnight fishing. How's his work performance, anyway? He's completed it. Oh, no, he has to read books. Crap. Crap, he's got lots to do for work, and it's in 14 hours. Um, oh, but he has a bookshelf. Amazing. Go read something, then. And where's he? He's going downstairs. Why did he do that? I specifically told him to read from that bookshelf. He's just being disobedient now. It's the Darth Vader helmet. It's made him rebellious. Bella's having her baby, but she's uh, sleeping through it, I guess. Bella, wake up. Baby's coming. Uh, get You better get to the hospital or something, you know. Just in case. We don't want you uh, bursting open all over the place, you know, spewing um, baby juice all over the house. Now, let's see. Does it just appear in the house? I think it does. I think it just, like, pops out of nowhere. Which I don't like at all. Let's just keep an eye out everywhere. Oh, Connor brought home 1,806 and did some great work. That's really good, Connor. Um, what do you still need to do? He still needs to reach level 9 of his comedy skill and to write his comedy book. Oh my god, he's got so much to do. Oh, the baby's here. Uh, what are we going to call it? It's a boy. Well, we already have a scratch and grounder, so this has to be coconuts. And since he's not officially part of the ninja legacy, he's just a side child with a second wife, he's taking her name. He's got to be Coconuts Goth. And, uh, yeah, there he is. There was no effect or anything. It's just, like, poop. He's there. Just appeared like nothing. That's really, really bad. Um, where am I going to put little coconuts? There he goes. I'll put him right next to the TV so it can, uh, keep him warm and sing him to sleep and all those things. All those things his parents should do. Connor the second, he's not your kid. Don't worry about him. He's not your responsibility. Let uh, let everyone else take care of him. You go and you have yourself some yogurt. And uh, don't talk to your sister either. She's uh, she's insane and annoying, and she'll only hold you back. Oh no, Michaela's here and she's really annoyed. Why is she annoyed? Oh, she's happy now. That was quick. That's a uh, very um. 
sudden mood change, I guess. But uh, Michaela's unpredictable like that. That's why I married her to begin with. 50% done. I have to read another book. Or the same book again. Just continue reading that. There you go. That's a good idea. Is this baby crying already? Oh, it's going to be one of these troubling ones, isn't it? Oh, no, he's not. I was hearing things, I guess. He's fine. Okay, so Coconuts has been born. Um, the toilet's broken. Connor's reading his books. Other Connor is um, fast asleep. Oh, my God. Grounder is fast asleep. It, it's night time, basically. So I'm going to leave it here for today. And I guess I'll continue next time. So I'll see you then. Goodbye.